Migration to Snowflake is one of the most common scenarios supported by the data ops. In this brief video, I will demonstrate how to leverage the data migration wizard to compare large number of tables between your source and the Snowflake system. To begin with, click on the data flows on the far left. From here, you can either create data flows individually or as part of this video, I want to show you how you can leverage the wizard to automatically create the flows. So I'm going to select the generate icon here. In this view, I can select the Livy server that I'm interested in. I can select the sales, the SQL server of interest and the Snowflake target demo database. Once I select these two databases as my source and target, then I'll click on the import tables from data source. On the far left, the system will show you all the tables that exist in the current system. So I'm going to select the dim account. In this example, I'm just selecting one table, but you can drag and drop as many tables in a single go as needed. Once I select the tables, I'm going to click on this icon to see all the columns which are part of my source and target tables in Snowflake. Then I'll go to the next step to enter a few more details, select a few more options as needed. But I'm not interested in entering any of these things. I go to the screen and click on Generate. Once that I click on the Generate icon, I can see visually that my source table, which is this one, and my target table, which is this one in Snowflake, are generated. In addition to those two, there is also another component, which is the comparison component that gets generated. Now I can click on run all the components to be able to extract the data from my source and the Snowflake system and compare the results of these two data sets. Depending upon the volume, this might take a few minutes. In the interest of your time, I will just click on an existing data flow where the calculations are already done. So I'm going to click on the dim account, which has already been run, and then I can view the history for this particular data flow. As part of the details, I notice that this particular flow has failed, and I can click on this to be able to view the results. Now, when I double click on this particular component that is in red, which means that it must have failed or there was some problem, I'll be able to see all the various metrics which are important to me from a data validation and comparison perspective. In the mismatched rows, I can see where all the values are different, where the values matched, and the values where they are different are highlighted in red here. While I'm showing you only one table, just to keep it simple, you can drag and drop as many tables as I mentioned before and do the comparison. The Data Ops Suite provides a very easy way for you to visualize the differences and take the necessary action to correct the ETL or the ELT process loads. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you very much for taking the time.